Welcome back. This is a new tutorial making a chess piece. We are gonna start right now with a cylinder. I changed my color. Now you can see the the top for the cylinder or cylinder. And I'm gonna use the the menu modifiers edit poly. I select the top and this is the tutorial when I use a lot, a lot of uh, people. So I select the people and create the basic shape for this cheese piece. And in the selection. This is on this part just adjusting for the basic shape of this this piece. Right now I'm gonna use uh, with right click with the slice and a scale to create the curves of the model. Just adjusting. I am selecting again the top and people again. And so in order to get the shape, I'm going to see further. I'm gonna use insert remember we have new tutorials every week with the new 3D Studio Max 2010 if you have more questions just go ahead and Click on the Twitter section and ask every question you, you, you have. Well, continue the tutorial. You can see right now and use the truth to get more poly more polygons and still modeling the basic curve of chess piece. And I'm going to scale because the base is too big. And the other part of paint. Now the head or the top. I know they can, we, we can create this this space you you say laughter yes you can use laughter perfect to use you can create a basic shape using the spline and draw it use just the shape of a silhouette and place a line and later place a circle around this basic shape and use uh, compound object and create a shape. We have the, 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 
the GSP is this is the only way to create this poly so the the featuring of the pro from from this way to create you can have more control about the the, the, the number of the poly uh, the curve and um, all other 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 things in lofting you just click and get the shape uh, just nothing more else and later you create more, adding more details of rest poly no, so they're likely like this but whatever you want lofting or with poly well, you can yes up to you this moment on this part just just adjusting sorry using my B will modifier and uh, just cr for creating the head or uh, well, the basic shape of this. This is, a, this is a piece. I'm almost done. A little more bigger the base. You can add more details. Of course, you can add more details for your chest piece if you want. But uh, I'm going to show you how more it is. And just going to start with the uh, cylinder. Now I want to create the the mount. Oh, I'm going to call this part the mount. I'm going to use cut selection and and change my selection for each. And later I'm going to use a chamfer. Select the breadth selection to fuse using target well um, and name and then the north the another point, another vertex. Well so this is a trick. Now I wanna change my selection for poly or face and there you go, we have a mount, we call it mount. And bevel. I'm gonna cut a little bit. And select all the pairs and Click and mesh smooth. Again, I'm gonna use smooth, smooth the modifier, set the piece, and to remove the facet.
we have the new piece. Thanks for watching. That's what I said. 3 Thank you.